My name is Vanessa Trimberger and I am one of the registered nurses here at UNC's Newborn Critical Care Center. Um, as you've already heard, once your baby is born in labor and delivery, the newborn critical care staff, nurses and doctors, and sometimes the uh, respiratory therapist will attend the delivery and come back to the unit with your baby. Once your baby comes to the unit, they will come into a room like this. Our rooms are called pods. In this pod, we have this baby here in a radiant warmer. This is the warmer that will be in your delivery room and that your baby will be put on as soon as they're born. We'll bring them over to the nursery and they'll be in this bed. They'll have a nurse attending to them 24 hours a day. They'll also have respiratory therapists and nurse practitioners and physicians caring for your child 24 hours a day. As soon as we get them into the room, we will place them on heart monitors and respiratory monitors so that we can monitor, monitor them continuously. We'll monitor their heart rate, their respiratory rate, how fast they're breathing that is, their oxygen saturations, and their blood pressures. Um, other monitors that will be placed on are respiratory monitors on ventilators. Your baby will have a breathing tube, most likely placed in the delivery room, sometimes placed once we get back to the nursery, hooked up to the ventilator. The ventilator will help your baby breathe and do a lot of the work for them so that they don't have to burn their energy and calories to breathe on their own at this point. We would like for them to use their energy and calories to heal, most likely after the surgical process. Other things that you'll uh, see in the nursery, once your baby is born, we will place a tube into their nose or their mouth to help drain the air and secretions out of their stomach. Some of the tubes are called repogals and some are called oral gastric tubes. And this will be very common. We'll most likely keep these tubes until well after surgery and when the baby starts eating as well. Other familiar things you'll see are IV pumps. Your baby will have an IV placed most likely at the bedside once he or she is born, sometimes in the delivery room before we leave. An IV will be placed and then we'll start IV fluids to help keep glucoses up in the baby because they will not be able to eat until uh, well after surgery. We'll also start medications, IV medications, um, like antibiotics to make sure that we do not uh, have infection after surgery. We have lactation consultants available from the time your baby is born to help you pump milk to provide nutrition for your baby. We have places in the pods and also special rooms called pump rooms. We also have pumps available for you to use. We have a nutrition room in the unit to help you store your breast milk until your baby is ready to bottle or breastfeed. It was really um, hard to know. Oh, hey, honey. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, in going in and you could ask the nurses, what's this connected to my child? Or, um, like, what does this do? What's this medicine going into him? And they'll tell you exactly what everything is. If you have any needs while you're here in the Newborn Critical Care Center, please let your nurses and doctors know. We're here to make this as easy as possible for you.